Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan. Welcome to another episode of Grazes Kitchen. Today's featured dish is going to be giniling na baboy or Filipino ground pork. This is an all-time classic comfort food that I can never seem to get tired of. It's simple, delicious, and very easy to make. This version of the dish used to be served at my great-grandparents' restaurant back in the Philippines, which means that this recipe is probably older than me and my parents combined. Let's begin! As always, let's start by preparing all of our needed ingredients which has already been listed down for you along with the measurements in the description box below. As you can see, we have some sea salt, brown sugar, white vinegar, anato powder, pork bouillon cube, diced onions, minced garlic, diced carrots, diced jalapeno or bell peppers, diced potatoes, and of course, ground pork with a meat to fat ratio of somewhere between 70-30 to 80-20. Let's proceed to heating up our cooking oil on medium-high, then turn down to medium just before adding the minced garlic, which we will be sautéing until aromatic. Now let's add the diced onions, then turn the heat back up to medium-high while continuously stirring to avoid burning and sticking. After which, we will add the anato powder and thoroughly mix until evenly spread out. Then add a third of our diced peppers, which we will be saving the rest for later. It's now time to pour our ground pork, which we will be continuously stirring on medium-high heat to facilitate an even and effective browning. Once any sign of pinkness is no longer present and the pork has started rendering its fat, let's now add the pork bouillon cube, followed by the white vinegar. Stir once again to completely dissolve and distribute the pork bouillon cube. Once this has been achieved, add in the sea salt and brown sugar. Make sure to continuously stir to dissolve and evenly distribute the salt and sugar and to make sure that no sticking is happening underneath. After seasoning and entirely browning the pork, we can now add our diced carrots which we will be stirring as well. Then add the diced potatoes which we've soaked in a cup of water to avoid oxidation which leads to darkening and color. Add the water along with it to assist in tenderizing the pork, carrots, and potatoes through a slow simmer on medium heat. The carrots and potatoes add texture and a touch of sweetness to the pork which really brightens the dish not only in color but in flavor and mouthfeel as well. Pour an additional cup of water for continued simmering until the desired degree of tenderness is reached. After which, we can now add in and stir the rest of the peppers to get it slightly cooked prior to serving. Doing so towards the end of the cooking process ensures that the peppers lend their fresh aroma and taste to the dish. Thoroughly stir once more, then allow to simmer down to a reduction. Give it a taste and check for yourself if the pork, carrots, and potatoes are already tender enough. If so, then the dish is cooked and ready. If not, like in our case, then add half a cup increments of water and continue simmering until everything is as tender as intended. Now it's done and all that's left to do is to transfer the contents of the pan into a serving dish and devour to your heart's content. Without a doubt, the only way to consume giniling na baboy is with rice. Personally, I like adding an egg fried over easy on top. A piece of legit advice though, store it in the fridge overnight and reheat in a pan the next morning before eating. This will bring out a blast of flavor that you won't see coming your way. What dish would you like to see next in our videos? Give us your pick by leaving a comment down below. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like to support our channel and to help us grow. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to be the first one to know of our upcoming food videos. Thank you for watching another episode of Grazis Kitchen. See you next time.